Hey there, we're reading Splat the Cat and the Pumpkin Pickin' Plan. Do you like Splat the Cat? Me too. Oh, here's a big picture that goes all across the page. I love these. Can you see that? It looks like fall. And there he is. What is he doing? Autumn was one of Splat's favorite seasons. Can you see that? He looks happy, and look, he does too. I'll help you rake the leaves, Mom, Splat offered. Thank you, Splat, Mom said. I would love that if that would be offered to me. There's Mom and the rake. Splat was good at raking leaves. Seymour helped too, and soon they'd made a huge pile. Here it is. Look at that huge pile of leaves. Here, Seymour, he helped. Splat stared at the pile, and suddenly he had a great idea. His tail wiggled wildly, and Splat, did you know that was going to happen? Leaves went flying everywhere. You know what else went flying? Seymour, there he is. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not little like that. Ah, oh, Splat's mom sighed. I have an idea, Splat, she said. Why don't you go to Farmer Patch's pumpkin patch? You can pick out a pumpkin to decorate and put it on our porch. That was a nice offer. It was very nice. Do you think she's trying to get rid of him? I think so, too. Look, there's Seymour on his head. Splat thought that sounded like a great idea. I'll pick the most perfect pumpkin ever, he promised. He does look excited. I wonder if he gets excited for everything in fall like I do. Well, Splat grabbed his wagon, and he and Seymour set off. It's a good thing he brought a wagon to bring the pumpkin back in. Splat loved Farmer Patch's pumpkin patch. There was so much to see and do. That does look like fun. There's a scarecrow, but it looks kind of like a dog, doesn't it? Look at all the pumpkins. Now look at their face. Do they look a little worried? Ah, he saw a very scary scarecrow that. Scarecrow there at the pumpkin patch. Is it because it looks like a dog? Do you think that's why it's scary? He also got lost in the hay bale maze. And he tasted fresh apple and fish cider. Here he is in the hay bale maze. Here's his tail. That's all we can see of him. And, hmm. Cider and fish. Apple and fish cider. Hmm. Hmm. Would you like that? I don't think I would. You might try it. You could. Then Splat remembered he was supposed to pick out the perfect pumpkin. The perfect pumpkin should be big, orange, and round, he told Seymour. And what's Seymour doing? He's taking notes. It's a good idea to make notes. He found a pumpkin that was very round and very orange, but it was too small. That is very round and very orange. The next pumpkin was big and orange, but not round enough, he told Seymour. I like the shape of that one. Seymour found a big, round pumpkin, but it wasn't orange enough. Splat's tail wiggled wildly with worry. Would he ever find the perfect pumpkin? Oh, that one is big, and it is round, but that's not orange enough. But then Splat spotted another pumpkin. It was round, it was orange, and it was the biggest pumpkin in the place. Is that the one you'd pick? Oh, it's so big. Perfect, Splat cried. Mom will love this one. But there was one problem. How is Splat going to get that pumpkin home? This won't fit in my wagon, Splat said. Look how big it is. You know, a good rule is maybe if it won't fit in your wagon, it's too big. I know, he said. I'll roll it. I don't know if this looks like a good idea. What do you think? 
What does Seymour think? I don't know. Splat rolled the pumpkin out of the gate. He rolled it on the road and down a hill. Whoa, Splat cried. Splat ran. The pumpkin rolled. The pumpkin wouldn't stop no matter what Splat did. Help, Splat cried. Now check out this this big hill. Look where he started from. And look where it's going. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help, Splat cried. Wow, Splat could steer the one the runaway pumpkin with his feet. <gasps> did you think he could do that? He did. He steered the runaway pumpkin over a bridge and in between cars. Look at that. And even right through, really through his front gate. I don't know, is mom going to be happy with that pumpkin? Right through his front gate. Finally, the pumpkin stopped. Splat's mom smiled. Oh, Splat, it's perfect, she said. Well done. <laughs> Splat smiled back. No problem, he said. It was no problem at all. Thanks for reading Splat the Cat with me, and that was by uh, Rob Scoton.